Hey everybody, it's Jimmy and Bill. So today we got another construction one. Basically the builders, especially here in Florida, but I think you could take the word out Florida because you know, I'm, I'm watching other YouTube videos and everything and I do research in other states also. But this one says Florida housing market increasingly causing concern among home builders. Hmm. But in like Austin, Texas and some areas in California, like I watch other videos, yeah, I'm physically not there. Right. But they're saying how the home builders are in trouble too. So I think that even though this article says Florida housing market increasingly concerned, you know, for home builders, I think it's true everywhere. Probably. I mean, the it's the housing issues are nationwide right now. So here, okay, there's a big development, not huge compared to other ones, but it's about 300 homes that they're building near me. Mm -hmm. And they were putting in the roads, they put in, you know, the the sidewalks, they ran some plumbing, piping, uh -huh. whatever, sewer lines and everything. They stopped. Oh, and yeah. It, it, it was actually in the paper. That's where I read it. They said they're going to put a halt on it because the you know the houses they they planned there people aren't buying them right so now the builders got stuck back at the last crash in 2006 7 8 you know when things they got caught with their pants down right they don't want to make that same mistake twice if everything slows down they want to you know sitting on the land is one thing but they're shifting resources to the other more affordable projects and in areas that, you know, like Lennar, you know, they, they build homes all over the right. country. So they might like, hey, you know what? Florida's not a place that we want to build right now. So, you know, maybe it's, you know, maybe Texas is not a place, you know? Maybe it's someplace in the Northeast. But the whole, again, like, they, they have to do their research. They're not going to build a, a bunch of houses and have them sit there. No, they're, they're, their goal is to make money and to move the properties. You know, we've got quite a few developments out in the Wesley Chapel area um, that are Lennar. We have all the major builders out there. U.S. And, homes, all that? Yeah, DR, U.S., um, West Bay Homes, you know, Pulte, every name it, we've got it. So, so that's what this article is about. Do me a favor. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. It's 100 degrees. We're hanging out here to do these videos. <laughs> Because you guys are very important to us. So just give it a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. And share the video. So, Bill, start us off. All right. So, a slowdown of the Florida housing market in June is causing concern amongst a majority of home builders in the Sunshine State, according to a recent survey. <clears throat> and I would say that would probably be more than just June. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that makes some concern. It's been slowing for a moment now. Yeah. Um, Asked about the state of their local new construction market, 31% of the Florida home builders told us housing market research website Zonda that June had been slower than expected, but not worrisome. Okay. So well, what are they going to say? Yeah. Like, oh my God, we're scared to death. Or, you know, yeah, the like, it, it, falling. It, it, like if somebody comes up to you and say, hey, Bill, I know you're a realtor. Are you busy or you're not? Sure, I'm busy. That's the, that's the go, that's the going statement. Yeah, that's the go-to statement. That's the go-to statement. So of course they're going to say that. <laughs> but go ahead, continue. Sixty-nine percent, on the other hand, were a little more pessimistic about last month, saying it had been slower than expected and is causing a concern. <clears throat> and I can tell you this, like project managers, because when I go there, you know, yeah, I have to let them know which house I'm inspecting for what clients and stuff, you know. And I, you know, we talk. You know, we talk off the record. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving any names of them, but they're like, yeah, we're in trouble. And they had so many cancellations, like yeah. a third of their contracts. This is what they just told me, one big project. A third of their projects are like canceled. The people, yeah. the people panic. <clears throat> right. Yeah, a lot of people, yeah, so. a lot of builders are switching to that, uh, what they call a quick move in inventory. So they're building them out. They're building a certain number of homes that they release on certain sites, pre-designed, pre-colored, pre-everything. They build them up to a certain point, and then they release them with incentives, and then they'll run specials from time to time. So and it it, it controls their inventory a lot. More. But think about it. Just two years ago, the builders wouldn't even talk to you. Nope. They say this is the price. Oh, you want that piece of land? Well, you got to get under the, the lottery. Yeah, you get on the lottery or the or the auction. Yep. So that's how crazy how fast times have changed. Yeah. 
it, it's it's insane. Um, but it's nice to be able to actually go have conversations at build centers again. Yeah. These numbers reflect growing apprehension among home builders that several existing factors, including a surge in inventory, stubbornly high mortgage rates, and skyrocketing insurance premiums are increasingly leading towards slowdown of Florida housing market. Last month, 8% of Florida home builders thought the market was stronger than expected in May. 15% thought it was on track with expectations. 38% found it was slower than expected, but not worrisome. And 38% found it was slower than expected and causing concern, according to Zonda. The share of those worrying has nearly doubled in the past month. Okay, so we just finished up the selling season, just not in Florida, but everywhere, you know, because yep. now it's vacation time. It's it's time to get the kids ready to go back to school. I'm yep. not saying they're going back to school in you know July, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I mean you know everybody's getting prepped and geared up for it now. Right. So, and I think when the numbers come out, they're not going to be that great. Like I, it's it's weird. You know, you you know what ghost inventory is, right? Yep. So basically. I go do an inspection for a house and they said, oh, so I looked at Zillow and I looked at MLS to see which one it is, you know, get a pre idea yep. of where I'm going and what I'm looking at. And you, you, the way they picture it and the way they do it is like, oh, there's one or two houses for sale, easy to find. Mm -hmm. So I drive to the build center, I drive to that, I go in there and there's like 30 houses for sale. And they all pretty much look the same, I'm like, whoa. I wasn't expecting 30 houses. You guys only have two for sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't put all 30 on for sale because it doesn't look that good. So that's what ghost inventory is. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So there's a lot of inventory out there in some developments, but you know, this they're stopping building on some of them. Yeah, it just it's particularly over here, closer to you know um, the Trinity area and stuff like that. They're just being a lot more cautious because like we said in a previous video that we had you know when you go out east there's a lot more land there's more land than you think just 25 30 minutes from where we're at here today and th there's a lot more building going on out there and that's where the deals are because the infrastructure is not there yet mm -hmm. so you know we've talked about concessions in the past not to on a close but concessions as hmm i might have to drive 15 more minutes to work because i just saved several thousand dollars and got a brand new house yeah well, home prices at the state level were still up 3.1% year over year in May. The latest data available on Redfin with the medium sale price of homes at 420,100 home, home buying demand has cooled down, supply has grown. It's true. And you know what the, the 420,000 is like a ridiculous, ridiculous yeah. price because it was like half of that not that long ago. Right. The median price of the, in the country. Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. People came to Florida for retirement to to save money. So now that's a it, tough thing to do now. Yeah, it's like you know, Florida's not the number one retirement state anymore. No, no, because it's expensive here. You it know, is. between the houses, insurance, even property taxes. You yeah, know, yeah, everything. Uh, according to Redfin, the number of homes sold in May fell 2.5 percent year over year, while the number of homes for sale rose 40.4% in the same month. The number of homes selling above list price, 11.8%, dropped four percentage points year over year. Okay, 32.4% of homes had price drops up from 26% year over year. I think that's gonna be a trend. Yeah. Everybody's trying to price things way, way too much. It's hard. And certain people could wait to sell, but some people, you know, divorce, job, there's reasons why some people have to sell. Right. And like I said before, the people that bought two, three years ago and they put little money down so they don't have any equity. Mm -hmm. And I keep hearing more and more of people going to the closing that they have to bring money to the closing. So, what do you so mean? The sellers have to bring oh, money. The sellers, okay, I'm, uh, yeah, that makes because sense. Because if they bought it yeah. two, three years ago, and say they put minimum down, correct, and they're selling it now, they're going to be bringing money to the table. Right, because they're just not breaking even on the house because the house didn't appreciate fast enough. Right. Yeah. 
So it, it was, those are the people, you know, buy, buyer's regret on, yeah. on that one. We gotta do a video on that. Yeah, that'd be a good video. We should do that. All right, go for it. Home builders appear justified in their concerns. Earlier this month, Raymond James, one of the biggest investment banking firms in the U.S., lowered its rating from Lennar for outer form to market preform, cutting the home builders' projected annual revenue by 13.95%. 30,146,000 from its previous expectation. Wow, that's a big drop. Yeah, and Lennar's a big builder, you know, because they build in that, you know, they have several types of collections where they have a little bit higher end collection and they have a, a, a median collection, you know, with some more of a, you know, standard amenities and stuff that price point per se. Um, and that's, that's a big statement that they're, projected earnings are down that much. Yeah, and you know, because companies like US Homes, Lennar, all them, they have buying power. So they buy, you know, they'll buy oh, yeah. thousands of counters at the same time, thousands of stoves. Exactly. You know? So yeah, it's just sitting in containers. It's a lot cheaper than a custom build home that somebody right. hires a builder to build, you yeah, know? Custom build homes are far and few between around here. I mean, even trying to find a custom builder is difficult. Right. Like, because it just doesn't happen here. It's right. It's just not the same as it used to be. Margin headwinds in surging Florida inventory leave us cautious, the company wrote in a research note shared with Newsweek. We believe the situation regarding Florida surging resale inventory now plus 70% year over year, primarily related to soaring interest rates and property taxes, now warrants an added layer of near-term caution, the bank said, particularly given that Lennar has a uniquely dominant market share position in Florida. 25% of home builders revenue by our estimate. And that's true, Lennar is everywhere. Isn't it crazy that even insurance in Florida is screwing up everything? It's just screwing up everything. Yeah. It's insurance just, is crazy. Even on car insurance is stupid. Yeah. You know, I can't tell you how many deals I saw fall apart, not because of the inspection, or the price of the home. It's just insurance. Insurance. You got to get insurance quotes early, early, early. And let me tell you, insurance, guys, everybody that's listening, please understand. Hey, because I get the question every day, every phone call. Hey, what's the what's a rough estimate on my insurance? I have no idea. It's based on so many factors. It's it's the house, the flood zone, the year the house was built, the age of the roof. You, as a person, have you ever had a claim? What's your credit score? Do you have dogs? Do you have a trampoline? How many kids do you have? What kind of car do you drive? There's a ton of factors. I'm being a little exaggerated there, but the point is, it's very specific to you. Yeah, and you're not an insurance agent. And I'm not an insurance agent. Yeah. I mean, literally, a prime example is Vanessa has a property and her brother has a property. They're both built in the same neighborhood in the same age. I think it's a year difference, right? But their insurances are different because they're two different people. One's a higher risk, one's a lower risk. Wow. Who's they both have great who, jobs. Who's the higher risk? <laughs> but, it's, and I, that's what I explained to the, and I said, listen, it's just about risk factors. You know, they, they're, every, everybody is a little different. While builders worry, while builders worry, buyers can't hold on to hope that the homes will become cheaper across Florida. In some cities, buyers are already beginning to have the upper hand, as backed by a recent study found eight Florida cities in the top 10 of the metropolitan areas where homes are selling with the most below asking price. I am seeing a lot more homes being sold below market price. Yeah, so you, you, you kind of have different marketing stra or, uh, listing strategies when it comes to that. So you can list, you know, at the, the, the wishful, super high end. You can list your house at the at or just above market value based on comparables and conditions, or you can list below. All of them have pros and cons, and you just have to decide which one you want to go with and then which pros and which cons you're okay with. And that's really what it boils down to. There's people who, like we talked about in our last video, mm -hmm. there's people who want to list high because they think that's the best way to go and I'll just give somebody a discount. But if nobody looks at your house, you're never going to sell it, you know? So, and you usually, that strategy, you leave money on the table. So what's, what's your prediction for home builders? Like my prediction is that they're going to be hurting because the election's coming up and just people are just sitting on their hands right now, you know, 
And if they do a rate cut in September, it's going to look political, but it's still not going to, you know, a small quarter percent rate cut, it doesn't mean it's going to drop interest rates like dramatically. No. You know, no. it doesn't, I mean, people think that, but it's I know. not. Everybody has this uh, concept, it seems, because I talk to people, they think yeah. that, that quarter percent or we're going to drop rates down. Oh, it's going to be three and a half percent again. And it's just, it's, 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 it's not going to happen. It's not. They brought the rates down almost zero because everything was in trouble. We yeah. were in a lot of trouble. Yeah. You know, so we and, have to go out of it slowly, not fast. We remember, we don't want big waves. We want little ripples. So I think they're going to have a rough time. I think they're going to have a rough time for the first six months of 25. I think they're going to have to change their policies on building much more smaller homes. Oh, absolutely. Which we've already started to see. Yeah, I think the build, build bigger homes are going to be on the back burner for a little yep. while. I think some projects that were slated for bigger homes are permanent for bigger homes and it's set up for bigger homes, I think they're going to sit on them for like two or three years. Maybe. They'll have their, they'll have their breakout numbers, you know, to see where they're going to be. And it's going to be very market they're not, they're not going to do, they're not going to make the same mistake they went last time. A lot of them almost went bankrupt. And a few right. of them, I think, did go bankrupt. Oh, a lot of people went bankrupt. Yeah. During that. A lot of builders went bankrupt. But what I mean is, you know, there's where I say certain areas. So like out in the Lutes, Wesley Chapel, Land Lakes type areas, there's a lot of land and there's this is the next quote unquote frontier per se, because just out that way, you've got three major hospitals going in. And we're not right. talking like a little because, building. Because are, bu builders are buying the cheaper land yep. because they can't buy land in prime areas. Like this area at Tarpon Springs. There's no land to buy. Yeah, there's no land to buy. And what are you gonna do, buy existing stuff and bulldoze them? No, you know, they're not, not gonna do that. Effective. So that's why a lot of parks, like manufactured parks, you know, the builders are going there, offering a lot of money, and the yep. and the sellers are saying, you know what, I want out, buy it. Yeah. And they kick everybody out and they build. Right, so those places that have all this infrastructure going in, they're gonna need the more expensive homes. You know, these major research hospitals with all these scientists and doctors and surgeons and yeah. whatnot, and you know, rocket scientists and things for some of the things that are getting placed out there. Um, you know, those are high income jobs and those people don't typically yeah. buy the houses at 1600 square feet yeah I think builders are gonna be in trouble for the rest of this year the first six months of 25 it's gonna be scary it's gonna be scary yeah. like we have we haven't seen the worst of it yet when it comes to home builders no it's 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 so like on a thread right now I feel like it's just because I keep seeing ghost inventory increasing 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 I yeah, mean like yeah I see that here more here on this side than yeah Anyways, that's today's video. Tell us what you guys think. And do me a favor, if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. It really helps and it's greatly appreciated. You have anything to add? Nope, we are good. I appreciate check, it. Check out this video over here. This is a really, really good video. And I, I picked it out just for you guys. <laughs> we'll talk to you in the next See you one. In the next video. All right, bye.